to show that acids, bases and salts are electrolytes. Materials required Hydrochloric acid about 5 ml Sodium hydroxide flakes about 100 mg Sodium chloride about 5 grams Distilled water 4 beakers 250 milliliters, 4 dry cells of 1.5 volt each with a cell holder, a 6 volt torch bulb with holder, a rubber cork, 2 iron nails, a plug key, connecting wires and a piece of sandpaper. Procedure Using sandpaper, Clean the insulation layers from the ends of connecting wires. Take a dry rubber cork and fix two iron nails at a distance. The two nails will work as two electrodes. Observe the circuit diagram before experimenting. Take nearly 100 milliliters of distilled water in the four beakers, 250 milliliters. Label them as beakers A, B, C and D respectively. Add 5 drops of hydrochloric acid to beaker A containing distilled water to create an acidic solution. Add 100 mg of sodium hydroxide flakes into the beaker B to get a basic solution. Add 2 or 3 grams of sodium chloride salt, about half a teaspoon, into the beaker C to get a sodium chloride salt solution. Do not add anything to the distilled water in beaker D. Set up the electric circuit by connecting different components with the help of connecting wires. Insert the key into the plug and test the circuit. If the circuit is right, the bulb glows. If the circuit is wrong, the bulb does not glow. Precaution! Do not dip the rubber cork to which two iron nails are fixed and connected in the circuit in any beaker. Place the rubber cork connected circuit in beaker A containing dilute HCl. Insert the key in the plug and allow the current to flow in the circuit containing dilute hydrochloric acid solution as a component and note down the observation. Precaution. Remove the key and the rubber cork from the beaker. Wash the rubber cork and dry it with a clean cloth before experimenting with different solutions. Place the rubber cork connected circuit in beaker B containing sodium hydroxide solution. Insert the key and note down the observation. Place the rubber cork connected circuit in beaker C containing sodium chloride solution. Insert the key and note down the observation. Place the rubber cork connected circuit in beaker D containing distilled water. Insert the key and note down the observation. Observation The bulb glowing in the circuit connected to beaker A contains dilute hydrochloric acid. Beaker B contains dilute sodium hydroxide and beaker C contains dilute sodium chloride. This indicates a positive result in the transmission of electricity in the circuit. Beaker D containing distilled water doesn't show any electrical transmission 
so the bulb does not glow and indicates a negative result. Beaker Solution Observation Beaker A Dilute hydrochloric acid Bulb glows Beaker B Dilute sodium hydroxide Bulb glows Beaker C Dilute sodium chloride Bulb glows Beaker D Distilled water Bulb does not glow Chemistry behind the reaction Electrolytes are substances that produce ions when dissolved in water. They can be classified as acids, bases or salts since all of them generate ions in water. Due to the mobility of positive ions, cations and negative ions, anions, these solutions can conduct electricity. Infer from the observations that acids, bases and salts are electrolytes. The following dissociation reactions HCl aqueous gives H plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. NaOH aqueous gives Na plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. NaCl aqueous gives Na plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous.